Hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 4. My name is Momo and last time we just recruited our new pretty party member. His name is Edge and although he's quite under leveled, I think he's going to get stronger. I have a feeling. I always listen to my feelings. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the save room and head all the way north and there's a mystery egg that's standing in our way. And it's got a Lamia in it. Not too concerned. That experience is horrible. Bats! Bats! I hate these bats! Let's see if Vridia does more damage with the dragon than Ifrit, because Ifrit didn't really do that much. So let's go ahead and use the dragon. Come on, die, guys! And dragon coming in. You've missed them. Let's see, does it work? Does it work? Does it work? It does. Alright, so the bats are weak to holy. Good to remember. Let's head to the north here and we're in the Tower of Babel. Good question. There's no door. Hoo ha! That's some Naruto shit right there. Gotta love this ninjutsu magic. Right, let's hit this chest for a unicorn horn, which as we've stated previously is one of the most useless items in the game. But whatever, I'll deal. Let's go all the way here, we're just following the loop around. Nothing to see. I did spot a chest all the way over here, so let's go and hit it. Silver hourglass. In here we've got, well, blank space, let's continue onwards. At least the layout of this thing isn't really confusing. It's pretty obvious that you need to go and all of that. And you still didn't kick- Oh no! Alright, so Ed, you're not allowed to attack unless you're gonna kill these quarrels, because they can't- They counter with Blaster. Seems to be a pretty nasty attack, but the experience gain was pretty good. Let's have Rosa heal- Let's have Rosa get him back, heal, raise. Then I'll do it. Ugh, oh, mystery egg. What was the point of that back attack though? Salamia. The experience is so crap on that. I mean, really? Another Lamia. Let's swap rows and attack. Oh boy. This is just fire. Right, so Lamy has counter physical attacks with Entice. Not an attractive thing to have. Okay, I missed the chest in a very obvious place. Kill it! Done. The encounter rate is high, but they're throwing bullshit enemies at me. Why? Why is up with the game's coding that it does this? Okay, balloons. We should be having fun with ice elements. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use bio over here. I think that's a great way to go. Yep, pretty powerful. So Riddy is picking up edges slack until he gets better. Oh shit, Mad Ogres. And it's a back attack. Why am I getting back attack so damn often? Yeah, attack, attack. Okay, Rydia, I'm actually going to have you use Osmos on Cecil. He doesn't really use his MP, so it's great that he's got like a... He's sort of a tank for Rydia. Whoa, oh damn. Now, instead of concentrating on killing these things, I now have to worry about... ...getting Edge back, which is annoying as hell, but oh well. Raise. Ugh, oh, damn it. And then I miss targeted. Oh, 
Right, let's just give him a heal. He's got so little HP that a high potion is even gonna do it. Great, what do you give me for this? Ogre Killer! This does bonus damage against giant type enemies, so it's perfect for Cecil. And it's even great in that it increases his attack, so I'm more than happy to use that. Rosa, let's give Edge a bit of a heal there, well, why don't you? At least he leveled up, so maybe he's gonna be a little less shit as we go through this. One can only hope, one can only hope. So let's hit this door and see what happens from here. B3, seems fairly straightforward. Ouch! Yeah, paralyze it. Paralyze the bitch. Oh, I thought you were praying, Rosa. As you can see, Cecil is doing incredible damage against this with his new with his new axe. Amazing. I love it. Come on, Rosa, give him another heal. Oh, the levels aren't that bad at this stage. Let's head past this door and I see a treasure chest. That's awesome. Oh, perfect. Brilliant. So, I suppose bio is a good way to go about things. Let us kiss, whatever the hell that is. Ow. So they counter with bio. They're using our tricks against us. Ah, oh, really? Easy battle. Really, I did gain a level, but... Edge and this horrible defense of his is starting to get me down. Rosa, can't you just throwing MP at your ass? Although of note, Cecil's HP is looking a bit low as well. Right, left, right, such a conundrum. Yeah, you know it. Okay, you go ahead and cast Reflect on yourself. I really couldn't be bothered at this stage. Because Rydia is not going to get a chance to get another one off, so... No worries. Oh yay, Rosa learned Float and Edge learned Shadowbind, whatever the hell that does. Okay, nothing to the left, so we're going to go all the way to the right now. I really like Edge's sprite, in case you guys haven't noticed, which is why I'm using it. That's right, nail him. That was a really easy battle. Radius Bio really just makes things almost too easy, if I can say that. Ashura, let's go ahead and look. I think that's that's for Edge, and it really bumps up his attack quite nicely. So I'm very happy to use that. And we're on B3 again. If we head straight down, it's a dead end. So let's head to the east instead. Um, I think this is a save point. No, it's just big gigantic ball in the middle of nowhere. Alright, we have a save point here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use a tent. Should be more than enough here. And before we do anything else, as before, save our game before we continue. Edge has grown two levels, so he's not as useless. He's not good, but he's not as useless, so it counts for something. Top bubble, part five. How does an egg back attack you? That's what I am very curious to find out. Yeah, just kill it and be done with it. Let me ask. Ghost Knights. The most dangerous thing they do is counter. Hey, why are y'all taking on the lady in green? And you missed! It just goes to show, you can't steal my tricks and not get away with it. 82,000 gil. We are rich. We are rich. 300k of money. Now watch, they just pull out another sum and it'll all be blown. Edge? Okay, so this must be the king and queen of Eblen. Huh? Uh-huh. Well, the music said it all for me. That sound effect was really profound. <laughs> and it's a boss battle. Okay, no, this one is scripted, so really just... Just attack. Or if you want, you can defend. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do, however, is have Rosa pray. Damage is really pathetic. Yeah, defend. That damage was horrible. Can't even be proper monsters if you can't even do that properly. Yes, we just have everyone defend. No, don't swap rows. Yeah, Rosa, you keep praying. Just make sure our HP is high. Defend! No, you were supposed to defend, Kane. Just to make this go a bit faster. But there you go. That's basically all it is to this match. Just defend. Don't do anything until this happens. This shift in music tells you that something interesting is happening right about now. So you guys can really tell that what's happened here is Dr. Lugai, who we cleaned a couple of parts ago, performed some really nasty experiments to the king and queen of Eblin. And what's it done is he's transformed them into monsters, which is really sort of heartbreaking in its own way. So, like, I feel for our man Edge here. And here's the badass himself. Who he himself seems pretty outraged that Luge would do something like that. Should that word not be censored? So, Ruby Kant is. He's a baddie, but he's not really that bad. I suppose you could say he is... Would he be lawful evil? I think that's what it fits in. Mm-hmm. And here's that kick-ass Archfiend music, as always. I love for it. And Edge learned two new ninjutsu skills. Not even ice can penetrate. I beg to differ. Now, Ruby Kanchi is going to actually restore us to full strength, as he said. It's going to heal us up, and here we go! Time for the showdown with the biggest and baddest Archfiend. 
Note that while his cloak is closed, he's not going to be able to do anything. However, like this, this is fine. This is fair game. Rydia, you're going to go ahead and summon Shiva. Fire out the damage is not that great, to be honest. Let's see how much this does. That's a good amount. Rosa, you're gonna go ahead and cast Shell on us, because Ruby Kante uses mainly magic based attacks. So if you got a shell up, that's gonna help us a lot. Rydia with Shiva should be doing the majority of the damage here. Know that while the cloak is open, while his cloak is open, he's going to be using his baddest attack, Inferno. He counters physical attacks with Fyra on us. Ninjutsu doesn't seem to have a counter. Yeah, another round of shells is not gonna hurt anyone. Did you guys see the damage Kane did? It was like 7k. I am in heaven right now. With Rydia pumping out about 3k around, Edge doing about 2, this battle ain't gonna last. And he does that to himself, which I wonder why, but... Unfortunately, that's about all the MP possesses, so whatever. Rosa, you go ahead and cast a Cura on us, because... Just because. There's his big bad attack, Inferno. And you can see the damage there was nasty. Not to worry though, we'll just bring him back with the Phoenix down. Ready yet? You summon if Shiva. Oh dear. Oh no, this is gonna heal him. Damn it. Well, I suppose we can say goodbye to the amount of high damage we were doing. And he counts that by doing that as well. Edge is out of MP, so he's gonna go ahead and attack, but Kane's that damage is impressive. Let me just take your hit slow in case something like that happens. So I'm gonna bring Edge back here with Rosa. Someone else is gonna have to be on standby to give him a high potion, I think. Yeah, really I should be able to do it. He's not doing anything while the cloak is open. Know that if you want to avoid getting hit by Inferno, all you really have to do is make sure that Edge uses the Steel Command while the cloak is open. Because what will happen then is Rubicanti will close his cloak. But also that gives you the opportunity to do less damage. You saw how much damage you were doing with an open cloak. Ugh, I need to stop doing that. I suppose, let's see if... I think Titan will work, so go ahead and try. Still, 3000 damage is amazing. He shall rise again, but he's down, which I'm thankful for. This is, this is actually a pretty easy fight, to be honest with you. 3600 experience for that only. actually find like I, Rubicant is the kind of character that I could like he's a villain yeah but he's got his own sort of code of honor which I like so he's in line with like Jamie Lannister and people like that a bit late to the party aren't you fellas the Seneschal is that how you say it what is that even Yeah, you guys are a bit late to the party. It's done. Rubikanti is on his knees. These guys helped you out. Ready and Kane did all of the do all of the fighting. You just sat there and died for most of it. I asked myself the exact same question, Edge. And Edge does the spinning jump too. No buts. Alright, so the center scholar is leaving us to look after Edge, so yeah, that's that happened. And they're out of here.
But first we gotta do some battling. Attack. Attack. Oh shit, a green dragon. Oh. Okay. That was quick. Green dragons are normally really tough, but this was a fairly easy one. Not that I'm complaining, not that I'm complaining in any way. Another one. Basically the idea is to cast stop on these guys before they can wreak havoc on you because trust me, green dragons, they can nail you pretty nasty with some attacks. Ready has stop though, takes care of that nonsense. Then they can't really touch us very hard. So before we move on with the story, I'm really just gonna try and do some saving. Ugh, curse these things. You concentrate on the mad ogre. Yeah, you do that. Rosa, Kira on edge, the shit he went to full. And the rest just wail on them. This should end the battle. That amount of damage. Incredible. And Edge leveled up pretty nicely, so I'm gonna go ahead and save my game and call it quits right here for now. So if you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like on this video and comment. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like these. Until next time, bye!